welcome to polynomials 1.1 generalizing polynomial functions okay so we're done with quadratics and we're going to move on to a new topic called polynomials so this section is going to kind of introduce you to polynomials so that you can learn to recognize them okay so let's get started so that you can see what makes a polynomial function a polynomial function all right so these are all examples of polynomial functions on the bottom here or in the middle i guess and don't mind the different letters that they all start with, right? One starts with F, next one starts with G, then it starts with H, yeah? So that's that's pretty much a, a characteristic of all functions, yeah? They, they can have different letters that we use to define them, okay? But what they do have in common is they all have X, because they're all based on plugging in an input value of X, okay? So this is the definition of a polynomial function. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you memorize it. But you should you should know it and eventually you will because we're going to make you find these things called degrees and leading coefficients and we're going to make you write um, polynomial functions in symbolic notation as well so these three things well you don't have to memorize it now you'll get to know it really well as the lessons continue on okay but one thing that you do want to make sure you recognize about polynomial functions are um, that they all that the the terms that the exponents for the x terms are x terms must always be non-negative integers. So that's kind of a weird way of saying it. So basically, I can just put it this way. Your exponent for your x term cannot be a fraction, cannot be a negative number, cannot be a decimal. Yeah. So there's there's a there's a whole bunch of things that it cannot be. Yeah. But basically, it's going to be just numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. Those are the only exponents that polynomial functions are allowed to have. Yeah, your regular numbers basically no negatives nothing like that no fractions no decimals nothing like that okay and polynomial functions also cannot have multiple letters within them you can only have x yeah you cannot have x and y in the same equation and call that a polynomial function that's pretty much game over okay so those are the things you want to watch out for when we do our lesson or our our exercises that we're going to make you do so that you can start to recognize what they are okay so let's look at example one I don't normally do examples, but um, today I am because, uh, yeah, the, the more times you see something, the more, the easier it is going to be to understand it, I guess. Okay, so <clears throat> let's look at function r. Yeah, is, is this guy a polynomial function? And the answer is, well, let's check out his, his powers, his exponents. So this guy has an exponent of 4, so there's nothing wrong with that. This guy has an exponent of 3. That's that's good to go. This guy has an exponent of 2. Nothing wrong with that either. This guy has an exponent of 1. Yeah. So if you look at all your x terms, they all have very nice exponent values. Yeah. They don't have any decimals, no fractions, um, no negative numbers, right? They're all just normal normal numbers, the ones that we like to see. Okay? So you can consider r a polynomial function. So once we determine it's a polynomial function, your job is going to be to find the degree, which over here it says is 4, and your leading coefficient, which says it's negative 6. So the best way to do, the, do the, the degree in LC is just to find the biggest power amongst everybody, right? So power of 4, power of 3, power of 2, power of 1. Yeah, so which one has the biggest power of x? Well, this guy does. <clears throat> power of 4. So I put a circle around it because inside that circle, you're going to find both things you need to find. You're going to find your degree, which is 4, and you're going to find your LC, leading coefficient, which is negative 6. Okay, so once you determine it's a polynomial function, you circle the term that has the biggest power. And within that circle, you're going to find the two things you need, degree and LC. Okay, so let's look at function S. So <clears throat> power of 5, power of 3, power of 7. There's, there's no x there and power of 1. Okay, so do we see any strange exponent numbers? Like decimals, fractions, negatives, do we see any of those strange type of numbers for exponents? No, we don't see any of that. So we can say function s is a polynomial function. So we're going to circle the term that has the biggest exponent value, which is this guy right here. <clears throat> and like I said, right, the reason why I circle it is because the number in the front yeah, the negative 12, that's going to be your LC, and your degree is going to be 7 because he has the biggest exponent. And be careful, yeah, it says right here, be careful because this problem, they kind of did, they tried to play a trick on you. 
usually you're supposed to write the biggest power in the front followed by the next biggest power, the next biggest power, the next biggest power. But they purposely wrote it out of order, which they're not supposed to do. But we're trying to test to see if you can recognize if it's a polynomial function or not. And if you do see it, can you recognize who the degree and the LCR? So it was written this way on purpose. It's not going to normally be that way. Yeah? Unless you have somebody that's writing it out that doesn't understand math very well. Then they'll probably write it out of order. Not because they're doing it on purpose, but it's because they don't know what to do. Okay? All right, so let's look at example two. And these are going to be examples of not polynomial functions. So let's see if we can figure out why they're not. So I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go to red because these are going to be, we're going to circle the things that's going to cause this to be considered not a polynomial function. So when we look at function f, who is guilty as charged as far as making this function not a polynomial function? And here's the culprit right here x to the negative 3. We're not allowed to have negative exponents. Okay? So who's messing up g? Well, this guy right here is messing up g, the power of 1 third. Not allowed to have fractions as your exponents. Okay? <clears throat> and who's, who's messing up h? Well, h is not going to have an exponent issue. h is going to have a too many letters issue. Okay? So right there, we have too many letters. Yeah? We're not allowed to have x and y in the in the function to be considered a polynomial function okay so whenever you you see things that that <clears throat> i guess prove that it's a yes yeah and you want to find the degree in lc circle it so you can find the pieces that you need to have or, or use really easily and if you figure out that it's not a polynomial function circle what is guilty as charged as far as what's messing it up yeah and if you get into that habit then um Figuring out whether it's a polynomial function will get a lot easier. Okay? All right, so let's go to some problems that we can show you. Okay, so I'm going to skip A. Yeah? And you're going to do that for homework. We're going to go straight to B. And we're going to answer the question, is this a polynomial function? And if it is, we're going to state the degree in LC. And if it's not, we're going to pretty much say why it's not. Okay, so let's look at all our, our exponents first. Okay, so we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at exponents to see that they're all really nice numbers. Yeah, not your strange numbers like decimals, fractions, or negative numbers. And next, we're going to check to see if there's more than one letter, like X and another letter in the problem. Okay, and we're not going to count M as a, as a letter, an extra letter in the problem. That's the name of the function. So when I say extra letter, I'm talking about like we see X and Y or X and Z or X and B in the same um, set of terms. Okay. So this guy has power of 1. That's nothing to be alarmed with. This guy has power of 3. Nothing to be alarmed with. This guy has power of 6. Once again, nothing to be alarmed with. Okay, so this can be considered a function. Yeah, so I'm going to circle the, the term that has the biggest power. And, ooh, did I change my color back? No, I left it as red. Okay, so I'm going to circle the term that has the biggest power, which is this guy. And within that circle, you're going to see two things. You're going to see your degree and you're going to see your LC. So I'm going to, I'm going to classify this answer first as a yes. Yeah. Then I'm going to have my degree, which is my, which is my biggest power. So that's going to be a 6. And my LC is going to be the number right in front of that guy's x. So positive 5. And there you go. All right. Next problem. Okay. So let's do D. So we're going to evaluate function Q. Okay, so we're going to look for any strange exponents. So I see a power of 1, power of 2, power of 2 again. Yeah, so I don't see any strange exponent values. So no harm, no foul there. But I do see another issue. I see too many letters. And like I said, Q is not part of the problem. Okay, we're not going to count Q as part of too many letters. We're going to look here in this circle. And we're going to say, oh, yeah. We're only supposed to have x in our polynomial function. We have x and y. That is not supposed to happen. So this guy is going to be definitely a no. And the reason is going to be 6xy squared has both an x and a y. Right? We're not supposed to have multiple letters in your function. Okay? So that guy is guilty as charged. All right. So let's look at our next problem. Change it away from red. Let's go back to blue. And we're going to do our last problem for this video. Okay? Function g. All right, so let's look for strange powers, first of all. So power of 3 and, ooh, power of half. Yeah? 
So this guy isn't directly attached to an X, but he controls everything inside the parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we do see an X. So this one half does control an X to a certain extent. Yeah. So this is going to be a no. And it's because, yeah, the 4, x to the third minus 5, you can consider that a term, has an exponent that's a fraction, which is 1 half. And right there, game over. Not a polynomial function. Okay? All right, so that's it. Short video. I uh, hope everything made sense. And if, you, if I went too fast, just rewind, like I always say. Okay? But I'll see you later. Bye-bye.